All right, guys, the problem I'm about to give you right now is probably the hardest, easy problem there is on the SAT. This involves circles. First of all, everyone hates geometry, okay? So circles is one of the most missed topics on the SAT. And this problem in particular is going to be, as you see, one of the most missed problems. Like, I'm sure you guys probably got this wrong at one point in your SAT career. Now, for those of you who haven't subscribed or already liked this video, go ahead and do that right now because this channel is about to go off, guys. I'm talking about SAT, college. I'm not even going to stop there. Like, you know what's about to come. But for now, let's stick to the SAT for this video. If I give you a circle... Let me say radius is one, all right? Radius is one. Um, I want you to find what x equals. x is the angle, okay? And this arc length, arc length AB is pi over three. Okay, that's just pi, all right, guys? So pi, that's not a n, that's not a r, that's pi. I want you to find what x equals, guys. How would you do this? All right, I want you guys to pause this video and try it by yourself. Even if you have no idea how to do this, I want you to use all the circle formulas you know. If you have my SAT math notes, then use those. If you want my SAT math notes, then join my Discord. I'll link in the description below. And try doing this problem. Pause the video. I'll give you guys five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And those five seconds are to pause the video, not do the problem. This problem takes like probably 20 seconds. So if you finish the problem, then good job. If you haven't and you have no idea and you're just waiting for me to do it, then, um, you know, here you go. The formula to remember, guys, you have to remember this by heart, okay? The SAT note sheet does not have this. So if you don't remember this, you're doomed. Arc length over circumference. So circum is equal to x over 360. Actually, let me, let me change that. Inner angle, okay? So not x, okay? Inner angle. In this case, this is the inner angle, okay? This is always the inner angle. So let's stop in what we know. What's the arc length? Pi over 3, okay? Circumference, 2 pi r. Uh, radius is 1, so 2 pi is equal to inner angle. Let's say inner angle i a, okay? Over 360. So we don't know this inner angle. And we're trying to find x. So let's find the inner angle first, okay? Um, simplify left side. You don't, don't do that cross multiply stuff. I know you guys love that. Don't do that. No, no. Simplify the left side first, okay? So you get 1 over 6. Um, yeah, 1 over 6 is equal to i a over 360. Oh, shit. All right. So multiply by uh, 60. Multiply by 60. So that means IA equals 60. Yeah. Because 6 times, you know, 60 is 360. 1 times 60 is 60. So IA equals 60. This means this inner angle, guys, is 60 degrees. So what's the outside angle? Well, 360 minus 60. So 360 minus 60 equals 300. X equals 300. Problem solved. 99% of the times, it's just going to ask you for the inner angle. It's not going to ask you for the outside angle. But if it does ask you for the outside angle, just find the inner angle. So track from 360 because circle equals 360 degrees and you're done. Like this is a hard problem made easy. And this is what you guys have to remember. All right. If you want, for, if you guys are looking for more tricks, look at my SHG math trick playlist. If you want like some group, uh, some live streams, some group sessions with me, join my discord. See you guys in a bit. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out, dude.